Hi, my name is Doug Walters. Uh, I'm a frequent contributor to the Casita Forum, and we bought the trailer I'm sitting in front of here in May of 2015 in Rice, Texas. Um, I, one thing I've noticed on the forum that I see threads on this nature repeatedly since I've been going there is that probably maybe half a dozen times a year there will be a thread started about someone being locked out of their casita. Um, I just wanted, wanted to post a video because I think a video is, is worth you know, way more than, than trying to type a response in the, in the forum uh, because I'm pretty sure that a good number of these instances are the same problem that I encountered on our trip after we left Rice. Uh, it's very often will be a, a new owner too, I've, I've noticed. But at any rate, <clears throat> let me entail what happened to us about probably three, four days after we left Rice. We were out in West Texas. We pulled into a large truck stop to get some gas and then we pulled into the back where all the big rigs were parked uh, to have some lunch. I went back to the unit uh, unlock the doors because I always travel with both locks locked both the things here unlock them grab the handle and pulled and nothing happened and pull as hard as I might I could not get into this trailer well you know a sense of panic sort of certainly ensued here uh, I made calls to Casita uh, they it was on their lunch hour they promised to call back shortly uh, I tried getting the emergency window to open by using the same procedure that uh, the orientation guy at Rice had shown us, and he did it. Uh, he showed me how it was done, but I could not. I could not manage it, and I was afraid if I banged any harder on the window, then that I would break something. Uh, so I came back and was just fiddling with the door, you know, repeatedly trying to unlock and lock the locks and everything. And I couldn't get anywhere until I just sort of bumbled on the solution, you know. We're so used to uh, opening a door by pulling on it, uh, so it seemed kind of counterintuitive. But what the real problem I needed to do was push on the door as I was pulling on this handle here. And this is what I did that unlocked the car, the thing. Here I am, the door is unlocked, and I'm pulling like this, and it will not open. Absolutely will not. It won't budge. I could, I could have pulled that, you know, forever, and it's not going to come open. But all I found that I had to do was put my thumb right here, push, and pull. Open it comes. Okay. Well, I looked at the the uh, latch because I realized what's what the problem is is this is not moving, and it's not moving because the latch bolt is being held by something. You know, it, it's being prevented from retracting the way it's supposed to. Well, what's what's causing the problem is if you take your finger and feel on this little edge right here, you'll feel a little lip. This is the global lock set. There's if there's a little G right in here on the on the metal that stands for global. That's who makes it. Uh, I don't know if global makes all the locks for casitas, but they certainly were making them for the 2015s. At any rate, there's this lip here, and this lip is just long enough to get caught on the latch plate that's on the door frame here. If you feel in here with your finger, you'll feel exactly where it's getting caught. So that engages that. Well, an easy solution to the problem would be just take a file or a grinder or something and remove that lip and make this as nice and smooth there as you can. But after I thought about it for a while I decided hey this might be a good feature to have really because when I'm at a campsite or something you know if some if some uh, miscreant at one of the neighboring campsites happens to notice that we have a laptop or an iPad or something when we're sitting out at our picnic table and then they see us leave our campsite you know, for a few minutes. What's to keep them from coming over, you know, and breaking and just opening it if I forget to lock the thing and getting it? Well, with this, the way it is now, all I have to do is leave it like this. Most people are going to come up here to get in the camper and say, oh, he locked it. 
Well, he didn't lock it, you see? But they're going to think he did. So I just leave it like that. So anyways, what I would suggest these people do who think they're locked out of their conceda is before they call Rice, before they call a locksmith, before they try and get in through their emergency window and possibly break the glass, uh, they just go out and push really hard right here as they're pulling on this here. I think a substantial number of the people are going to find that they're going to get in there that way. Okay? If, they're, if they can't, the pro, uh, make sure that this, this keyhole here is vertical. That tells you that you've got the latch itself unlocked. If it's horizontal, then you've somehow locked it. Uh, and you need to turn it so it's vertical like that. Uh, but anyways, that's what I would suggest. You know, you may save yourself a lot of grief and agony. And as far as what you do about it, once you discover what the problem is, you can take my approach and just leave it like that. We've been camping all over the place, you know, for two years now, and I have not had one instance of lock problems uh, since. You don't need a new lock in this case. All you need is to modify the old one, because if you got another global, it might have that same darn lip on it. Uh, so uh, I would just advise just modifying it a little bit. All it takes is a file or a little grinder, you know, and you can have it uh, so it won't ever happen again.